Hey guys, welcome back to another very interesting video of our channel Versatile Knowledge and today in this video I'll be talking with you guys about the MIUI 12 on the Redmi K20 Pro smartphone. As you can see I have received the MIUI 12 update for my Redmi K20 Pro smartphone and I have been using this smartphone as my daily for the last few days just to check whether the MIUI 12 has brought in few under the hood changes in terms of performance or not. So the first point that has changed or the most important thing that has changed is the overall UI's look and feel. So if I go to the settings and I go to about phone and as you can see in about phone there is the version number that has been mentioned which says MIUI global 12.0.2 stable and also there is something called the storage that is present over here and if I tilt the screen the storage water also tilts in that direction and if I tilt it like this as you can see the storage water tilts in this direction and it actually shows how much amount of storage on your device is occupied out of the 128 gigabytes and if I click on that as you can see this is how it looks and it looks fantastic it is a very cool animation or it is a very cool UI related thing that they have done and when I click on that that particular storage is 5.5 gigabyte of the app data is present and when I hover over like this or when I click on this that means 30 gigabyte of video is present and 10 GB of system storage is present and if I click on this that is 76 MB of audio is present on my device. So this is a very interesting UI related thing that they have integrated on the MIUI 12 device. So the next important thing that they have done is the changes in the UI of the cleaner application. So the cleaner application has got a complete overhaul with the UI. As you can see, there is that scanning thing that actually gives a fantastic animation. And when I click on clean, the cleaner animation also has been made very well. And the overall cleaning animation, the cleaning UI also has been made a complete change to make it look even more better and even more satisfying. The similar thing happens with the boost. As you can see, when you boost, that circle that comes actually gives a really good feel. And one thing that I have observed over here in the cleaner application is that the clean master is still present in the cleaner application. They had actually promised to remove the band application clean master from the system by giving a software update but that is still present over here as you can see when i go to cleaner the definitions is provided by clean master i can actually cannot change the definition and the clean master is still present which is actually a big bummer in my opinion the clean master at least with the software update which is as major as miui 12 should have been removed from the system so guys, the next important thing is the security patch level. So the security patch level has been updated to the June 1st security patch. So we are actually running in August and the July and August security patch was not available, but the old June security patch is present and this is what it is on the Redmi K20 Pro. I don't know what is the security patch level for the other Android devices running on MIUI 12 like the Redmi Note 8 or Redmi Note 9 Pro or something. So guys, the next important improvement that has been done is with respect to the dark mode when i go to the settings when i scroll down and i go to the display there is the dark mode option that is present over here and the dark mode has actually been improvised even better to get adjusted to the overall system interface without breaking any layouts or any icons or any fonts so when i turn on dark mode it gives a completely awesome look and feel just because it is an amoled display you can also set the dark mode by using the schedule option and also there is something called dark mode for individual apps when you click on dark mode for individual apps you can select which application should be completely turned to dark mode so for example if i go to aloha and i when i turn on the dark mode for aloha and when i open the aloha browser in my device and as you can see the complete browser has turned to dark mode natively this aloha browser actually does not support dark mode in its system but when i use the system wide dark mode and turn on the dark mode for third party apps this Aloha browser also turned to dark mode. The similar thing applies to any other application which actually does not support dark mode on your Redmi K20 Pro smartphone running on MIUI 12. So guys, the next important observation that I made with MIUI 12 is that once my smartphone was updated, this Mi browser actually came back. Mi browser is something that is actually a shady browser and I actually never do not use or do not recommend for people to use on their smartphones. Mi browser is actually considered as a bloatware and I have in uninstalled the bloatware 
bloatware on my system by using the uh, Xiaomi bloatware removal tool. And I've done a separate video about how to remove that bloatware. But after the MIUI 12 update, none of the other bloatware thankfully came back. But this shady Mi browser came back, which is actually another bad thing for me in my opinion. Now again, I have to use the Mi bloatware removal tool to actually uninstall this bloatware. So guys, the next important thing that has changed in the MIUI 12 on the Redmi K20 Pro is the integration of the notification shade and control center as two different entities. So let us go to the settings. So when I go to the display option and when I scroll down, let's go to the status bar option. When I click on status bar option, there is an option called use new control center. When I just select use new control center, that means the control center for your device gets activated. The control center is just like the iOS control center. When you just slide from the home screen, you will just get the access to the notification. But when you slide from the right side, you will get access to the control center. As you can see, it looks exactly like how iOS has implemented the control center on their devices. So as you can see, this is my iPad and this is how the control center has been implemented on the iOS device or iPad devices and this is how the control center has been implemented on the Redmi K20 Pro running on MIUI. So it has been directly just copied including the name from the iOS devices and also when you scroll down from the control center you can get access to all the different settings that you can do. It may be location services, DND, battery saver, low battery saver mode, uh, it may be me sharing, it may be floating window, screen recorder, a Wi-Fi hotspot, vibration mode and everything else and you can access all the options right from the control center and one important thing is when you click on any option to just check the different settings that is present for that particular option just like I want to connect to some other Bluetooth earphones just click on that and this floating window opens and all the different Bluetooth devices which is present in your vicinity will be shown over here and it is a very cool addition that has been made in the MIUI 12. The next important change or the next important thing that is present is with respect to the live wallpaper. Live wallpaper actually works on almost all devices and we have made a separate video about how the live wallpaper actually works and how cool it looks. If you want to check out the live wallpapers or if you want to use the live wallpapers on your Redmi K20 Pro or on any of your devices running on MIUI 11 or MIUI 12, please do check out the link in the card section and also in the description about the live wallpaper for your Xiaomi devices. So guys, the next important thing that has come as an update in the MIUI 12 is with respect to the sky mode in the gallery. As you can see, the gallery also has taken a completely new update with respect to the sky mode when I go to gallery and I'm just checking out some photo and I want to edit this photo just click on this icon and there is an option called sky over here previously this sky was actually a static option that was present and now they have made two different options inside the sky option that is the static and the dynamic options in the static option there is the clear sky when I click on this as you can see the sky actually completely changed this is how the original photo looks it is actually a dull thing and this is how the uh, new photo looks and also there are a lot of different filters with respect to the sky that is present which you can download and set and in the dynamic it looks very cool and just set this and It feels like the sky is actually moving or the clouds are actually moving in the sky and it also puts some really cool sounds for the background and makes it look like a video. So guys, the next important change that has happened is with respect to the camera application. This is the new UI for the camera app on your MIUI 12 devices. So this camera app has taken a complete overhaul with respect to the fonts, with respect to the icons, with respect to the selection items and everything. This is the video mode, the pro mode and everything else. Now let me show you what is really cool. What is really cool is with respect to this selection items. When I set on HDR, these are the yellow color selection items that is present. And in also, these are the options where you can set between the different aspect ratios, different uh, timers and different settings that is present. This is actually a really new type of selection items or the selection boxes for the MIUI. And also in order to take a short video, you can just hold the shutter button and it will start recording a short video for you. Previously, it was a separate option that was present in the camera application, but now what they have done is they have integrated inside the shutter button. You can either select between the short video or burst mode for the shutter button. So guys, the next important change that has happened is with respect to the items in the drop down and the whole drop down menu itself. The overall drop down menu in the MIUI 12 has taken a complete overhaul and it looks fantastic again. So this is the drop down menu. When I click on this, this is how the selection items inside the drop down menu looks like. This drop down menu has been actually changed overall throughout the system UI and not just in 
this particular scenario. So guys, the next important change is with respect to the privacy protection options. Just go to the settings and here there is an option called privacy protection under passwords and security. Just click on privacy protection and as you can see, these are the different types of privacy related information that this device gives so that you can have complete control over your data in the MIUI 12 devices. So if you see some application is using you know microphone you can just check whether this application really needs microphone or not for example gboard i do not want to type using my voice in gboard so i just can deny the permission of microphone to gboard just using this privacy options and also there is something called other permissions where you can just check which application is taking which permission and if you feel that this application does not deserve or does not need this permission just turn off those permission right away from here and another very important thing that i felt is with respect to something called as virtual id so just like how apple did with apple id for giving access to third party applications and browsers and other instances which don't need your personal email id and password to log into their systems every time virtual id was made by Apple. Going on the footsteps of Apple, Xiaomi has created something called as Virtual ID. So this particular Virtual ID can be used as an instance username and password for other third party applications. Prevents apps from tracking your behavior and purse preferences and protects your privacy. So this is a very important thing that is actually related to the privacy of your device. So guys, the next important thing is with respect to the floating windows. Consider this is my Google Chrome and I want to run this in floating window. Just long press on this and these are the four options that is lock the application using split screen and just what are the settings for this particular application and also third option which is called as floating window just click on the third option and this particular application will go to the floating window and you can keep using other apps behind this app in the floating window this comes in very handy if you're browsing this and also texting in the background this comes in really handy you can actually close the floating window by just doing like this and another important thing that actually is very important is the video toolbox so just like how realme has a sidebar on the realme ui miui has actually introduced the video toolbox in the miui 12 devices as you can see this is the realme UI and this is the side toolbar that is present where you can actually have screenshot screen recording file manager calculator clock and add many more applications over here and do a lot more things just like that Xiaomi actually brings in a nifty feature which is called the video toolbox when you search on video toolbox just go over there and this is the video toolbox you can actually turn on the video toolbox and this actually works for only those applications which has a video playback feature inside it for example Netflix it may be Amazon it may be YouTube, it may be MX player, it may be your gallery, it may be VLC media player or anything else. And you can actually configure the shortcut of the video toolbox to left or right. Whatever applications that is present in your device which supports this video toolbox will be shown over here. So if I want to just set to YouTube or gallery, what happens is when I visit those particular applications, I can play the videos in picture in picture mode even if I do not have a YouTube premium account. As you can see, I'm in my gallery and on the left side, you get this small line and when you just slide that you will get the video toolbox in the video toolbox you can record the screen you can take a screenshot you can cast play video sound with screen off so that is the very important option that is present so guys the next important change that i felt is when we go to the sim cards and mobile networks menu the overall menu of the sim cards and mobile networks has also been changed and everything has been simplified you don't have to press many more options go inside that and choose instead you can actually set the default sim for calls and default sim for data and you can do all your things over here itself and another important change that i felt overall is with respect to these subtle animations that you are seeing overall when I'm using the notification shade and when I want to connect to Bluetooth and this particular animation comes that breathing animation actually comes which actually gives a fantastic feel and when I want to go to the settings of Wi-Fi if I want to connect to a new Wi-Fi network when I click on this as you can see it gives you this brilliant animation of blue color The next important thing that I felt is in the passwords and security panel. Overall password, your fingerprint, your face unlock, unlock with Bluetooth, privacy protection, password and everything has been rearranged and has the new UI look and feel. So what is my thoughts on the overall MIUI 12 update? So MIUI 12 on Redmi K20 Pro has served me well for the last couple of days. I've been using this since Thursday and I have not actually faced any types of lag or any types of stutter, any performance hindrance 
kind of. But one thing that I actually felt is these many animations, these many system elements and all these kinds of tiny UI related gestures kind of puts the load on overall system performance is what I actually felt because these are the media files that has to be coded onto operating system and because of these media files it actually gives a lot of load on the overall system performance. I actually feel Xiaomi should focus on improving the behind the scenes or the under the hood performance of the software of MIUI rather than giving these many UI related changes. These many UI related changes looks good for the human eye but when it comes to devices which has lower hardware capacity or when it comes to legacy devices when we push these updates to legacy devices I feel the performance might take a hit in those conditions. So that's it for this video guys if you guys have liked this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content ahead. Thank you for watching guys.